By land, air, coast, and sea, we have our freedom today because the military defends our country and way of life. Throughout the month of November, KX is sharing local veteran stories in our special series, Veterans Voices. In tonight's Veterans Voices, we honor Robert Weefall. 27 years, a naval officer, lawyer, attorney general of North Dakota, district judge, husband, and father. And as KX News' Josh Manny shows us, veteran Bob Weefald is the epitome of someone who successfully grabs life by the horns, and much of his success roots back to the lessons he learned at sea on board a naval vessel. Bob Weefold, a native of Minot and 100% Norwegian Lutheran, goes full force in life. But at the beginning of his career in 1964, the year he graduated UND, it didn't start out that way. I was in the honors program. I I didn't want to go to school anymore, so I didn't have any, I didn't, didn't know if I could get a job or not, so I thought the thing I could do is get a commission, it was a sh and I looked around, the shortest commission service was the Army, two years after OCS. Bob drove to Grand Forks to see an Army recruiter, but things didn't go as planned. Big sergeant came up and said, Mr. Weefold, you flunked. I said, flunked? I said, how can you flunk a draft physical? I was a little more dramatic than that. He said, you have too much acne. I said, too much acne? Army recruiters did not want soldiers with acne because of all the dirt soldiers would encounter. The next day, after flunking the Army draft physical, Bob spotted a Navy recruiter in UND Student Union. I picked up a brochure and started looking at it. He said, son, are you interested in the Navy? I can tell you in the history of the world, I never once thought of joining the Navy. And I said, yeah, sure, that sounds cool. <laughs> Bob entered officer cadet school in July 1964, about two months before the Gulf of Tonkin incident happened on August 2nd. So it's, uh, so I lucked out. And really, I, I, I love the Navy and I did not get on the ground in Vietnam. And After completing officer cadet school and Navy justice school, Bob went home to Minot for Christmas break. My mother uh, just gave me a kiss goodbye and watched me walk out the door. My dad walked me to the car and I just opened the door uh, he put his heart, arms around me and sobbed, just buckets of tears. And I had never seen him cry at all, let alone sob buckets of tears. And I kept thinking to myself, what does he know that I don't know? Bob's dad was worried about the Vietnam War, and rightly so. Bob would deploy to Westpac in March of 1966. It was a busy life on board the USS Line McCormick. Bob says he never got more than five and a half hours of sleep. He served as a gunnery assistant of two 5-inch 54 guns. Uh, those guns, when they were cooking, could shoot uh, over 40 rounds a minute. Those are 80-pound uh, projectiles being kicked out. His job was directly answering to the weapons officer. He controlled the missiles. He controlled the... Uh, uh, guns, he controlled, the boats and mates, uh, the, all the deck activities. At the end of his deployment, Bob's dad picked him up in San Diego and they drove home. Two rainbows arched over I-94 as I'm driving into North Dakota and I thought, that's a great welcome home sign for me. The good omen would prove true. All while serving 24 years in the Navy Reserve, Bob would go on to lead a rich life and career of service. Bob enrolled in the law school at the University of Michigan later that year. He met his wife Susan while serving as the president of the university's student Lutheran Vestry. They would marry in 69. After graduating in 1970, Bob and Susan moved to Bismarck and he got a job as a law clerk for the North Dakota Supreme Court. A private practice attorney for nearly two decades, entered politics and served as North Dakota Attorney General from 1981 to 1984. Susan served as North Dakota Public Service Commissioner from 1993 until her retirement in 2009. Bob says Susan's good reputation helped him get elected District Court Judge in 1998 and 2004. It was his favorite job and the Navy prepared him well for it. I could make decisions, and in the Navy, you know, you, you have to make decisions. You can't get around and have a committee get together, like where you're going to be, be colliding with a ship out there. Mm -hmm. You can't say, well, I wonder how many people should, what, what should, you know, you got to make a decision. you got to execute it. 
After retiring, Bob continues doing one project after another. He has been the commander for American Legion, chairman of Open Your Heart annual Christmas charity, authenticated the keel of USS Bismarck, and was one of North Dakota's three electors during the 2020 presidential election, just to name a few. So in a very tangible sense, your life is like a metaphor for working on a naval ship because you're never not working. Well, I guess that's true because you're, you're constantly moving on a Navy ship. You're, you're something to do all the time. And you've carried on your whole life in the same way. I think that's basically true. It's a good, I never thought of it that way before, but yeah, you're right. It's, uh, you stay busy at sea, you stay busy at home. Uh, a busy ship is a happy ship. A uh, happy, happy man, happy life, happy wife. Reporting in Bismarck for KX News, I'm Josh Menny. If you'd like to learn more about Bob Weefald's life, we have his two memoirs, Moments and Moments Later, linked to this article over on kxnet.com.